Movies are a realm of illusion, where even the shortest actor can seem like an intimidating figure. Because of this, many movie fans are often incredibly surprised to learn the true heights of the actors they think they know and love. Even in the days of old Hollywood, there were numerous camera tricks that could make short actors seem tall and tall actors seem small. Join Facts First as we take a look at old Hollywood actors ranked by height. Mickey Rooney, 5 foot 2. Mickey Rooney was 5 foot 2 inches tall and born in 1920. He started his career as a child actor, acting in features for MGM. Although he rose to prominence as a child, he continued to find success in his adult years. Some of Mickey's most memorable roles are in the features The Human Comedy and National Velvet. Later on in his life, he became better known for his work on television and his work as a voice actor for cartoons. He was drafted into the military after America entered into World War II and he served for almost two years. Once he came back, he found his reduced height as an adult was keeping him from getting the same number of roles as he could before he was fully grown. But he managed to persevere and eventually carved out a niche for himself as a character actor. Some of his later career hits include It's a Mad, 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 Mad World in 1963 and the Walt Disney film Pete's Dragon in 1977. He passed away in 2014 at age 93. Dustin Hoffman, 5 foot 6. Dustin Hoffman is 5 foot 6 inches tall. He was born in 1937 and is, of course, still with us. While many people are already aware Mickey Rooney wasn't very tall, the revelation of Dustin Hoffman's below average height may come as a bit more of a surprise. The actor came on the scene with his performance in the hit dramedy The Graduate, which earned him an Academy Award nomination. He then played the memorable character of Ratso in the 1969 drama Midnight Cowboy. The film solidified Dustin as a force to be reckoned with when it came to acting abilities, even if his height left a little to be desired. Over the course of Dustin's career as a leading man, one can be sure numerous camera tricks have been used to make him look tall. Recently, he was featured in the 2017 drama The Meyerowitz Stories. Over the course of his long career, he's received two Academy Awards, six Golden Globes, and two Emmys. Bing Crosby, 5 foot 7. Bing Crosby was 5 foot 7 inches tall. He was born in 1903 and rose to fame as a singer before venturing into film. Bing memorably won the Academy Award for Best Actor after giving a performance for the ages in the 1944 film Going My Way. He also received a nomination for that film's sequel, making him the first actor to ever receive two separate nominations for playing the same character. Bing died in 1977 at age 74. Gene Kelly, 5 foot 7. Gene Kelly was 5 foot 7 inches tall. The American actor, singer, dancer, and director was born in 1912. He rose to fame via his performances in numerous Hollywood musicals, some of which he even directed. Some of his most highly regarded performances include his turns in the films Brigadoon and Singing in the Rain. Other films include An American in Paris and On the Town, the latter of which was his directorial debut. He passed away in 1996 at age 83. Al Pacino, 5 foot 7. Al Pacino is 5 foot 7. The American actor was born in 1940 and is still alive after five decades in showbiz. Al is certainly one of the stars people will be surprised to learn isn't a little taller than he actually is, especially given his intimidating appearances in so many classic films. Al broke out onto the acting scene with a minor role in the 1969 feature Me, Natalia. When he got the role, he was only 29. Several years later, Francis Ford Coppola cast him in 1972's The Godfather, and the rest is history. He still works today, having recently shown up in Quentin Tarantino's Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, be sure you give it a like, and subscribe to Facts First for more. And stick around for more about the height of old Hollywood actors. James Dean, 5 foot 8. James Dean was 5 foot 8 inches tall. He was born in 1931 and rose to immense fame before his untimely death in 1955. Over the course of his brief career, he only turned in three performances. Those were the classic films Rebel Without a Cause, East of Eden, and Giant. Although the actor's career was brief, he left a huge impression on both the entertainment industry and the world. But he wasn't the tallest actor in old Hollywood. After his early death, as a result of a car crash, he became the first actor to win a posthumous Academy Award. Frank Sinatra, 5'8". 
Frank Sinatra was born in 1915. Over the course of his long and storied career, he rose to prominence as one of the most iconic crooners in history. He also dabbled in acting, winning an Academy Award for his performance in the 1953 war film From Here to Eternity. After an unmatched career in showbiz, Frank passed away in 1998 at age 82. Although the singer wasn't the tallest guy around, the shadow he left was much taller than 5'8". Kirk Douglas, 5'9". Douglas was born in 1916 and made his feature debut in 1946's The Strange Love of Martha Ivers. After this debut, he soon became one of the biggest stars in Hollywood. The 1949 feature Champion brought Kirk his first Academy Award nomination, and he received two more over the course of his career. Despite the fact that Kirk was nominated three times, he never won an Academy Award for acting. Kirk starred in the early Stanley Kubrick features Paths of Glory and Spartacus, two films that brought both figures a great deal of critical acclaim. Kirk lived to be 103 before passing away in 2020. Robert De Niro, 5 foot 10 inches. Robert De Niro was born in 1943 and is still with us. The actor rose to fame predominantly due to his turns in many of Martin Scorsese's most successful features, like Mean Streets and Raging Bull. He received another notable early role with Francis Ford Coppola's The Godfather Part II in 1974. He recently reunited with Scorsese once again for 2019's The Irishman. Sean Connery, 6 foot 2. Sean Connery was born in Scotland in 1930 and passed away in 2020. Before his death in 2020, he had been retired for several years due to the low quality of acting roles he was getting in his later career. During the height of his fame, he was best known for playing James Bond. He was the first actor to ever play the character and remains many fans' favorite actor to have played the part. Clint Eastwood, 6 foot 4. American actor and director Clint Eastwood was born in 1930 and is still alive. He's currently 91, but that's not stopping him. His career began with roles in spaghetti westerns, such as Sergio Leone's Dollars Trilogy. Clint eventually made a name for himself as a director, in addition to being an actor. Nowadays, he directs more movies than he stars in, but he still makes occasional appearances in front of the camera. John Wayne, 6 foot 4. John Wayne was born in 1907 and achieved immense fame as a star in Western and war films early in his career. He began acting in silent features as early as the 20s before venturing out into bigger roles in the 30s. His first role as a lead came in the 1930 feature The Big Trail. Though the film wasn't a success, it led to an incredibly successful career for the actor down the line. Some of his most iconic roles remain his turns in the films The Searchers, True Grit, and Rio Bravo. He passed away in 1979 at age 72. Now it's time to hear from you. Comment down below to share if you were surprised to learn about the true heights of any of these old Hollywood actors. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.